How are we going guys? Well it's finally time for my bird eating spider to get a new enclosure so we're going to go and set that up now. So for this setup um, I've got a little cube tank for him, I got some coconut fiber, I got some sphagnum moss, little plastic decorate, decorative plant um, just to brighten it up a bit and I got a cork bark log that's going to be his new hide so yeah and of course I have the spider which is um, the Senolodicus plumops. So first of all guys we're going to add some coconut fiber as the base substrate. So you want to add a thick layer because these guys do like to burrow as well. And the more you have, the more humidity that this retains as well. So I like to add a, add a thick layer just to help retain humidity as well as enabling my spider to burrow if it wants to. So next I'm going to put the, um, the cork bark log in. So I generally like to dig a little hole for the log. So I'll dig a little divot. And I'll half bury it. Alright, so next I'm going to add some sphagnum moss. Sphagnum moss not only looks nice, but it also adds to um, like helping retain moisture and humidity. You put a layer of this over your coconut fiber, it almost seals in a bit of moisture. Of course, lastly, I'll add my little plant. Just because, why not? A bit of greenery is always nice, I suppose. Okay, well, that's pretty much that. Only thing left to do is add the spider. So one other little thing I'd also like to do, um, which I think you should do whenever you're relocating a tarantula into a new enclosure, just to help it settle in a bit easier and make the spider feel a little more relaxed and at home, I take out, because spiders will spin big patches of webbing all over the bottom of their enclosure, so I'm going to take out a decent sized patch of webbing from its old enclosure and put it in this new one, so it has that same sort of feel. So this big old patch of webbing, I'm going to put that right here at the front of the burrow where it would normally be if it did have a burrow. Put another piece just here. Just this way the spider has something familiar. Um, it's going to recognize this as its own web and it'll feel more at home. Okay, that'll do. The spider will pretty much spin more web itself. So now to add the spider in. So as you can see, um, She's quite cranky that I've disturbed it. She's already rearing up. So by right, if I just give it a little tap, she should just run straight in, hopefully. Or you can bite the tongs either way. There we go, she's in. Also guys, before I go, I figured I'd give you guys an update on my two children's pythons, Attack and Protec. So these two uh, recently moved into a new tank and they're doing great. They're still locking up and mating, which is fantastic. So yeah, I just thought I'd update you guys on their progress. And yes guys, that is their names. Attack and Protec. <laughs> so yeah, the male's called Attack because he bites and the female's called Protec because, well, she's going to have eggs soon and so she'll be wrapped around them. So, yeah, I thought that was funny. Anyway guys, I'm gonna pop these guys back and I'll let you guys go. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I'll leave a link down below so you can follow me there if you want. Cheers guys, thanks for watching, bye bye.